Hi, thank you so much for watching. My name is Chris. In this video, I am gonna attempt to make something that will diffuse some LED strip lights. And there's gonna be four things I'm focusing on. I want it to be easy, I want it to be cost effective, I want it to look great, and I want it to also be somewhat unique looking. I do wanna thank Navistella for reaching out to me and offering to send out their 12 meter RGB dream color LED strips for me to try. And these are the ones that I ended up using in the project for this video. And these LED strips have an average review of 4.6 out of five. So they definitely come recommended by a lot of people as well as myself. If you do end up wanting to buy these, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get 10% off. For my first design idea, I'm using a one inch by four inch piece of wood. It was eight feet long initially, and I think I cut it down to about six feet for this project. And as you're watching, keep in mind for this technique, you could easily use a one by two inch piece of wood or a one by three inch. So on this step, adjust your blade so it doesn't go through the entire wood and move the fence so that when you make the cut, you're making that channel very close to the edge. Now flip the board around and do the exact same thing. And here you can see what it's going to look like after both cuts have been made. I'm going to be painting the inside of this board white and that's going to help the LEDs reflect off of it a little bit better and get a little bit brighter. After giving the middle section a couple coats of white paint, I'm going to be staining the outside edges a dark walnut color. For this next step, I'm going to be using some blank stencil paper that I bought at Hobby Lobby. And this paper is 12 inches wide, so I will be cutting it in half. Now I've ordered a lot of different types of materials like this off of Amazon, but every single one that I've ordered, you need about five or six sheets for it to diffuse the LED lights properly. And for whatever reason, this Hobby Lobby brand, you only need two, which makes it a lot easier to work with. I'm going to be using two of these stencil sheets, putting them back to back, and then trying to fit them in the channels that we cut just to make sure everything fits nicely. So if this is all that you ended up doing, it would still look great. You can see when you push the white things together, you really can't even tell that there's a separation between uh, the stencil sheets. And since the curve of the plastic is creating enough pressure against the channel walls, you really don't need to do anything to secure these in place unless you plan on hanging it upside down. And since one of my goals of this project was to have it look somewhat unique, I'm going to be using this black mesh uh, plastic sheet and cutting little strips here that I can then put over the seams um, to hide those a little bit better. Now there's many different ways that you could cover up the end pieces and you honestly wouldn't even need to do this if you didn't want to but I'm just going to use a piece of that same uh, one by four inch wood and trace out the approximate shape. And You're going to want to make two of these, one for the front and back. Now I'm just using a jigsaw to cut out the shape. And I purposely cut mine a little bit bigger than I knew I needed to so that I could sand it down to make a perfect fit. Now I'm just making sure that that piece of wood will fit underneath the stencil paper. I'm going to quick give the end of the 1x4 board a quick stain as well as the pieces of wood that I just cut out. Since the plastic mesh pieces I used are black, I'm going to be spray painting them brown so they match the wood that I stained. In this step, I'm going to be drilling a hole in one of the end pieces so that the LED wires have a place to run through. I'm 
I'm going to be using one of the 20 foot spools that the Nava Stella LED lights came with and I'm just going to be lining this up on the middle of the 1 by 4 inch board and seeing how much of the LED strip that I need and then cutting off the excess. You can use some Gorilla wood glue and attach the front and back pieces to the board and this is the one that it cut the hole in so that the cord can go through. Now that everything has dried we can begin to assemble everything. For this design, I am starting off with a 2 inch by 2 inch board that's again I believe 8 feet long and I cut it down to about 6 feet. I'm going to be using a dado bit that's 3 quarter inch wide and making a channel in the middle of the wood. And In this video I do make a couple passes on this step but I do wish I went a little bit deeper. Um, so if you're doing this at home, make sure to go a little bit deeper than I did because the further away that you have the LED strip from the diffuser material, the better the results are going to look. And I do have to give a shout out to Mark. He uh, watched a couple of my videos and reached out, recommended that I get a router table. So I've been saving up for a couple months and I finally pulled the trigger and I'm super glad I did. I really enjoyed using this so far. Uh, so thanks again, Mark. I appreciate the recommendation. So here's what it looks like after the first pass and I'm going to be going through it again and taking off some more wood. It's not perfectly centered but that's alright. And here's what it looks like after the second pass and I could have definitely gone a little bit deeper there. Uh, maybe at least another eighth of an inch. Now for this step I'm going to be using a 1 8 inch uh, slot cutter router bit and I'm going to be running the wood through here and this is going to create a channel on either side of the wood where I can slide in some diffuser material. And here's what it looks like after that cut has been made and I do realize I didn't do the best job of lining things up here. One side is definitely thicker than the other but it will still look just fine in the end. And for this one I'm going to make it super easy. I'm just going to paint everything white. I'm going to be using the same Hobby Lobby uh, blank stencil paper for this and I'm just going to be cutting it in small strips to fit in that channel. I'm going to be using the other 20 foot roll that the Navastella lights came with and cutting that to the size that I need and then fitting that in the channel here. And after the lights are in, I'm just going to be sliding in those doubled up stencil sheets into the channel and then pushing it down to the end. And to give it more of an interesting and unique look, I thought it would be cool to try using that same black plastic mesh. Cut those in long strips and then slide them over the diffuser sheets that are already in the channels. Now that both designs are done, I have them laid out here and I'm just going to plug them in and turn them on and see how they look. Try. 